Hello, this is Bonnie from SoulStarBliss.com and it's time once again for our mini love tarot readings. So we'd like to do April, May, and June 2016. But before we begin, I'd like to thank you for liking and sharing our videos, for subscribing to our channel, for liking us on Facebook, and checking out our Google Plus pages. You know what? Let's get started and see what's coming up for you in the love department right now. Hello my Leo friends, this is your April, May, and June 2016 Mini Tarot Love Reading. Let's take a little shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. I kind of like to do a little general reading and then we're going to uh, pull some cards for each month so we can see what's going on for you. And you know if you'd like a private session just about you, stop by my website which is www.soulstarbliss.com and we'll take a look now and see what's going on for you in the love department. Oh my goodness, okay, it seems like some of you have left relationships and you know, it seems like you gave your power away when you left. If you've decided to leave, so be it, that's fine. But you know, there's no saying you can't go back, but it has to be your choice and about you. So some of you are so worried, so worried about, oh my gosh, when is this going to change? When is this going to change? But remember, a lot of the change we want, we have to get through what we're going through first. Gosh, I hope I said that right. It sounds right. Um, so it's also important to remember it doesn't matter what's gone. It matters what's left. Some of you that are being wishy-washy or deciding, you know, I want to stay, I want to go, I don't know what to do. Talk will help you. Don't let pride keep you from um, saying I'm sorry or, you know, let's get together and try this again. So it'll be choices that you're going to be making. Jealousy has no room in this relationship, okay? Those of you that are single, get ready because it looks like you're going to be putting yourself out there um, by way of people introducing someone to you. You get an invitation to go somewhere. Now is a good time for you to do it whether it be to a family picnic or to the library or just out and about to the farmer's market. I don't care, you need to get out to see people. It says there's a great possibility of joy for you. So let's see what's going on in April. In April, some of you, all you can seem to see is pain from the past. Yeah, we've all had pain from the past, I understand. Not making light of it, not by any means, way, shape, or form. But it says sometimes we have to be strong enough and have enough courage to make choices to move forward to the future with the three of wands. Nobody's going to take anything from you this time, okay? But don't rob yourself of the opportunity to possibly um, have happiness. So in April, you're going to be doing some soul searching and maybe trying to let go. It says don't be carrying around guilt from the past. It's not going to change anything. What will change things is talk. Okay, maybe you need a therapist, maybe you need a lawyer, I don't know, but maybe just talk with a friend will also change things for you. So it says in May, open to the possibility of having um, some, some conversations. And I mean kind, use kind words, it'll be better for you. Some of you are going to be seeing people from the past. Remember this, how they were before, they may still be. Make them prove themselves. Someone comes and says, oh, I've changed, I found my new way. You know, I hope they have, but just make sure that you take your time and, and make sure you see things as they are. You're going to feel very powerful for some reason April, May, in June. So I think there's going to be a lot going on. Some of you are going to be letting go from pain from the past. Hallelujah. Good for you. It says joy is a choice. And the opportunity here in this three-month period is for you to have the sun card, which is great joy. Put into practice what you've learned. Yes, yeah, some of us have fallen on our face. We all have at one time or another. So what we're going to do is learn from that, pick up the pieces and move on. But some of you in your relationships, maybe you need to rekindle that a little bit. Maybe you need to, you know, pick up some flowers, surprise somebody with a nice little unexpected uh, thing. Maybe it's just a note. Maybe it's a book they want. I'm not sure, and I'm not in your relationship. So just think about things that would make you happy. And I think you're going to be quite happy with the way things are going. They're going to start out a little slow. slow excuse me. Don't carry the burdens from the past with you. Try the best you can to let things go. But it says there's a real possibility by June, those of you who have been feeling alone are not going to be feeling that way anymore. So this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Thank you so much for dropping in to see me today, Leo. And we'll see you again real soon.